two days ago, I opened the gate into that second paddock. Half an hour ago, somebody from over there had wandered over here and spotted it and went in there. Within, ooh, 90 seconds, the rest of the herd had stampeded across there. But how did they get out there? Oh yeah, the bottom gate. been doing? Driving red in the mud heap, that's what you've been doing haven't you? State of you. Right, so the bottom gate is open. I never thought of that. I thought oh I'll just let them through and give them that bit and that bit, forgetting that because the sheep are in the bottom paddock we pulled the gates round down there so, so plan A wasn't going to work. It doesn't matter, I just need to open this one so something doesn't get trapped in here, want its mummy, and end up taking the fence down to get out of it. <coughs> Vocal creatures are dexters, as you, as you may have noticed. Right, you could have that one on me. I'm going to leave that on the video. You can, you can copy that and use it as a ringtone on your phone for, for somebody who um, you might consider a cow. Anyway, morning world. Welcome to Wednesday, the 2nd of October. Um, it's wet again. It's a miserable, damp, murky... A weatherman said it wasn't going to rain. He lied. But, um, yeah, we're not going to be doing much outside today. It's a just... I've got other things to do. So, this morning, I am going to... I'm going north. Then I'm going to look at some tree work. And then I'm going south to catch up with the tree team and see how they're getting on with the job down there. And then, if, if it brightens up later on, well, maybe we'll do something out here. Uh, the barn project is all at a standstill for a minute until we get our panels. Uh, Dave the Builder's back from his holiday. I might have a chat with him and we might consider doing some of the yard concreting. Thing is, if I go off at it at half cock, I kind of want to do it right first time, but time is getting on. We've just got to finish shaping up in the doorway there and get our levels in ready for concrete. But it might be a case of that we do this yard this week or next week, um, but leave like a half meter strip down the inside of the panels so we can dig out and then sit the panels and then we'll just have to concrete that last bit in later on. So, but at least it means that the concrete in the middle will have time to go off. So the surface that will have most wear and tear from the skid steer should be okay. Famous last words, but yeah. If I knew we were gonna have a dry six weeks, I wouldn't be worried about it at all. But I think the chances of a dry six weeks, more or less zero. So, and you know, I'll get on a day. Like I say, he's back off holiday. He's got to catch up with some of his work before he comes and gives me a hand because we'll be on this for concrete in down there and that bit over there. Day, I would have thought. Good day. 
uh, and that's if I can get enough shuttering to do all of it. It might be two days. Right, we're at the back end of Stroud now, and I'm just looking to see if I can recognise, because I found the place on Google Street Maps, see if I can recognise where I am. I know it's up here on the left somewhere. Uh, I think I think we found it. I think this is it. Right, that was a pretty straightforward, simple job. Or at least it is right now. It's a building site and they want to start putting footings in, well, next week. And it's like, well, can you do it this week? And it's like, well, it's already Wednesday and no, not really. So I'm going to call in and see Simon G because he lives only a few miles from this job and see if he can do it any quicker than I can. Maybe. I've stopped. Not for me. For her. Go on. So this is a piece of woodland between Stroud and Dirty called Penwood. And just occasionally, Biscuit and I will stop here for a W-A-L-K. I'm going to get me at. Um, okay. I can't reach that one, so I'll have that one. Come on. I'm assuming that every dog that visits here marks that post, so it's like the local gazette. You know, she's just catching up with the latest news. Obviously quite interesting news. We see squirrels. Squirrels. Right, it's 11 o'clock. We'll only do half an hour and then we'll get back to work. Okay, sad, isn't it? Classic ash dieback. Or in this case, classic ash already dead back. Rabbits. She's more than happy. See, you can even ride your GG down there or up there. It's one of the reasons I'm so fond of the field maple, is for a native tree, it gives some outstanding autumn colour. Beautiful. Acer Compestry. Along with the common dogwood. Still a few berries for the birds. Speaking of berries. Little sorbus, white beam. That'll feed a few hungry migrating birds. Give them a bit of fuel on the way south or north. That's a bit different. You wouldn't normally find that chap there, would you? Right, we'll cut this uh, a bit short because I've just fallen down a hole and twisted my ankle. Be bad, ankle. not badly, but it's just made it a bit sore. So we'll kind of head back, I think. Oh yeah. Who knows what that is? I tell you one thing now, it's extremely poisonous, so don't eat it. Bit more there. Yeah, still don't eat it. That'll not make your day. It was only a twinge. We're okay, so we're gonna continue on. So, don't actually know where I am, but my sense of direction tells me that the van is that way. So, don't worry, if I get lost, I'll just get my phone out and go on Google Maps, but that's a last resort. I'm pretty sure I'm going around in a big circle. So we're okay. 
Come on, you. Right. I can hear the road. The road's directly in front of me, so that tells me that I'm right. Van's that way. All I've got to do now is find a path that turns left. And this one seems to want to go right. What we got here? This looks promising. Oh. Not seen one of them before. Is that like safe for a mobility scooter? Why not? Granddad's got to get out as well, hasn't he? Okay, so the road is now over to my right, which means I am heading back in the right direction towards the van. We're all good. So it's actually a decent surface in here. I mean, Dad's mobility scooter would go on that easy. Not too sure about that bit there. I mean, it'll go through it. Just, uh, just don't drive it on the carpet when you get home, all right? Because Grandma won't be very happy. All right, I can even see the road now. It's literally just through the trees there. And you'll see the traffic going past, probably. No idea if the camera picked that up or not. But I don't think we're far away because I also heard a cattle grid that goes on to Selsley Common. So, a few yards, maybe a couple of hundred yards, we'll be back. Right. So, there's one entrance onto the road. If I go down there, I'll find where I'm parked. What I'm going to do when I get back, I'll get my phone out and I'll give you the what's three words location of where my van is parked. And then if you live in the straight area and you don't know this walk, you know where to bring your car and bring the dog. So she loves it in here. Oh, it was a bit mucky there. Not sure about taking my mobility scooter through that. Maybe, maybe on a dry day. Not today. Okay, well, if I keep the road on my right hand side, I can't actually go wrong. So when I said maybe one or two hundred yards, it might be three or four hundred yards. Or not. I just spotted my van. Three hundred yards, I won't far out. Does um does that mean steep hill? I don't know. Do you want a four-wheel drive scooter to get out of that one? I mean, it doesn't look that steep. Steep-ish. And there we are, back to square one. We went that way, and basically, we didn't take every left turn, but most left turns, and I kind of knew that if I came back up with the road on my right-hand side, I'd be going the right way. So, come on you, go get your dirty feet on my seat. Okay, so my what three words location, if you want to find it on the maps, is rinsed, full stop, flocking, full stop, and attitudes. There you go. That's where I am. Rough, rough name. One, two, nine, eight, nine, oh. Right, anyway, afternoon, folks. We are back. Um, so I've done all my jobs, quotes that I want to do north of us this morning. Finished lunch, happy cup of tea with the missus. Now we're heading south, we're gonna go and see the guys. No. Have you done any scrumping? No. Some of them might make you a little bit... Um, yeah, a bit round. Yeah, a little bit. Right. That's what? All right, okay, I'll grab that back, all right. Cheers, 
Oh, right then. See you later. <laughs> Cheeky burgers. They've left me to shut the gate for them. Is there our bungee, apparently? So we'll have our bungee back. And lock it up. Right. That's another job finished. Although they haven't finished yet. They've actually got to work late today. They've got another job at the local shopping centre to finish off and we can't start till half past five. So <sighs> right. Not sure if uh whether the saws might want a bit of adjustment on there, so hmm.